everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Hattie, I'm a UK based anime figure collector and cosplayer based in the UK. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, today we are going to be doing another unboxing. Um, it is one from my um, haul from MCM Comic Con. So if you saw my um, failure of a um, Comic Con vlog, you'll probably have some idea of what I might be unboxing. Um, today, we are going to be opening up the one seventh scale of the Dark Magician Girl figure from the original Yu-Gi-Oh series um, by Kotobukiya. Um, as I mentioned earlier, she is a one seventh scale. Um, she comes in a basic window box packaging, as you can see here. Um, really, really cute heart shaped windows and I got her from a stall uh, run by Brotherhood Games and um, this is a UK based company again and this is actually my first product that I've ever bought from Brotherhood Gaming um, when I was at the convention their customer service was brilliant they were really really good um, um, and they handled my fangirling over this very well so props to them um, this was actually from one of the owner's personal collections but unfortunately by the sounds of it um, um like dark machine girl just did not fit into their collection as much as they hope it, hoped it would so um they wanted to rehome her and i was quite lucky because i managed to get hold of her myself um she was 95 pounds which to be honest is pretty standard for um a kotobukiya figure probably cheaper by most places to be fair um and as i mentioned again in my um on vlog um Yu-Gi-Oh has got a very special place in my collection and my heart um it was one of my first ever like anime themed like themed cartoons when I was a kid and I was obsessed um I also share fun fact the, sh the same birthday as Yugi Moto and if that doesn't call for a flex I don't know what does so um, I'm gonna go ahead and start opening her um, oh sugar so she obviously comes with the regular um, seals around the lip oh there's actually only one on this one which is just on the lip of the box here which I've cut up um, this one didn't actually come with any kind of seal, which really surprised me, but she is definitely genuine um, because the um, retailer I bought her from only sells genuine figures and you can tell by the quality of her just by looking in the box that she is absolutely stunning. So I'm really not too concerned. So this is the box opened up, as you can see. Um, let's get her this to pack out. Okay, before I show you the blister pack though, um, I'm gonna show you the inside of her box. I don't know how well it's gonna pick up on camera, but it's super cute and super glittery and it's obviously got the little um, pentagram seal that she is summoned upon and it is super cute. Um, this actually has to be one of my favorite boxes, um, like the interior wise. They've just gone above and beyond to make it look super, super cute. Um, I do think with some editions of this, um, you do get like a postcard and a um, like a Karibo keychain, but I think because um, I got the second edition, the re-release version, she unfortunately didn't come with those, but to be honest, I wouldn't really know where to put them, so I'm not too mad. Um, so this is her out, fresh out of the box, and she looks absolutely stunning. As you can see, she has got two face plates. She's got her stand one that she's actually got in the box, which is just her with her open eyes. And then she's got another one here, which is her winking, which to be honest, I think is the one I'm going to display her with because it's just too cute. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get her opened up. Um, she's got tape on the sides and then she's got Another two on the other side. I think that's it for her sellotape. Okay, so her base is just a standard flat base circular, but it's got her seal going across it. Um, and it's like it's it's literally engraved. I don't know if you can really see, but it's got it's it's 
is 3D almost and I love it. Um, the colours as well, I think the pink on the black just looks really aesthetically pleasing. Um, and then obviously it's just got like the kind of extra stuff there. I'm gonna pop that down for a second so I can show you the main figure. Um, she comes with an instruction booklet as well, so that's always wrapped in plastic at the bottom of the blister pack. And, um, right, 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 Oh, let's get her out first. So as you can see, um, with most figures, always very, very well packaged inside the box to avoid any damage. Let's get her out. Oh my goodness, okay, so um, with this one, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it, um, but like the little gems that are in her boots and on her arm, her gauntlets and things, they're actually gems. Um, I adore it, I think it looks, I think it works really, really well for the character. Um, whoa, there goes her hat. Okay, so her hat does come off because obviously if you want to change the faceplate, it's just attached by a peg which goes into the back of her head here. Um, take this off, does it? I don't really trust. Okay. And then I think you have to like scalp her to get the plastic off around her neck, which isn't a problem. So I will just show you with her first faceplate before I change it. And I really love what they've done with it. It's, it's very mute, it's very, it's, it's very um, kind of subtle, but they've got like, it's almost like a pearlescent finish on her hair. And the sculpt is pretty good as well, to be fair. I'm not too upset. Um, so this is her completely free of the plastic in her first expression. I just adore the pose. Um, I am hoping at some point I might be able to get hold of her. I think a good smile figure, I think. Um, and it's stunning. Um, I think there's one of all the magician girls as well, which I'd love to get. But at the moment, I'm just really happy just to have her in my collection because she's been one I wanted for a little while. Um, when her re-release came out, um, I was a bit silly and I left pre-ordering her a bit too long so she sold out and obviously I couldn't get hold of her but um obviously I was able to rectify that at MCM which I'm forever grateful for so um as you can see she also comes with her hands post I will get some b-roll of her as well as always um how does this work right let's have a look I'm gonna pop her down there for a second and this slots in when in doubt guys by the way always read the manual purely because it's not worth breaking your figures over oh okay so this bit comes off so this is her staff again this has got like a cute like pearlescent finish on the back which is super cute um and then apparently it just slots into her like this so this goes Okay, this one's quite fiddly, so just be careful as you do it if you don't want to end up scratching or any paint transfer. That's it, so she's that's nicely snug in there now. And then the, just pop on the top. And that's her fully assembled. Something that I love about Kotobukiya is that their prices are really competitive for the quality product that you're getting. Um, I love the pastels and the hues that have gone with this and Honestly, I can't fault it. And 
if you have seen some of my other videos you will know that I'm a total softie when it comes to figures that gloss the eyes um, I just think it really finishes a figure off beautifully and they've done this with Dark Magician Girl um, again I'm really not too sure how well this will pick up in the light but I will do some b-roll footage so hopefully it will pick up a little bit better then um, and I'm going to change her faceplate as well because um, I personally prefer it um, and she's winking so bear with me as you can see it just comes in like a plastic wrap like so which you can flip out like that as you can see I hope you can see like the glossy eye on that She's just super cute. They've really captured the kind of characteristics of Dark Magician Girl, which I always really appreciate when it comes to figures. And um, let's pop off her hat again. And then take this off. It wants to come off. That's that. And then I think you can literally just kind of twist the head off. I would say that if you get this figure, just be a bit careful because the head, the, the head joint is very stiff. Um, but it's come off easily enough. Just, just be a little bit careful with it. Um, and then pop this one in. I'm really hoping that at some point or another they will re-release um, the Dark Magician Kodo Bukia figure. Um, he's actually my favourite dueling monster and he doesn't get half the love that he deserves. I don't, I don't care, I don't mind saying it. Um, but unfortunately I just got a bit of a love for any figures, like mainly male protagonists or male characters that just don't seem to get figures. Um, so hopefully at some point or another Kodo Bukia, um, because they have released a lot of these, um, will we release the Dark Magician one? Because I'll be very happy. Um, popped her hair, clipped her hair back on. And yeah, no, she looks so much cuter in my opinion with the winking face, which I will show you in just a second. Let me pop her hat back on. Um, as always, I will link where I bought these from because the um, gaming brother gaming hood do have oh sorry every time i got she's going off oh he's very sad bear with me oh. sorted um so yeah um i will just post up um where you can get these figures from i'm not too sure if they'll have dark magician girl in because as i say it was just a one-off they had it in their own um, collection and they no longer wanted her but um they do have some really incredible stuff. I also got the Dark Magician Girl Nendroid from them. Um, a friend bought um, her for me and I adore her. She's really, really cute. Um, but I have the matching set now. Um, so hopefully um, you guys can obviously check them out too if there's anything that you like. Um, but this is her close up. As you can see, she's stunning. Like she's absolutely gorgeous. I'm really, I'm really chuffed. Um, just do like a quick and this is obviously you're gonna get a bit of a pantsuit shot sorry guys but um this is what she looks like from behind and the paintwork like the fine paintwork on this is so neat um she hasn't got an incredible amount of shading but i don't think you really need it for this kind of figure um because i think the sim simple look looks very very appealing because obviously it is from um like a dueling deck it's from the Yu-Gi-Oh series but um they've painted like the little star on her bust really really well and to be honest aside from I think I saw yeah a very very small paint chip on her leg which to be honest I could probably paint over if I find the correct paints at some point um she's just got a tiny little paint chip here I don't even think you can see it to be fair but um aside from that I am not to be honest even without I'm not too upset um, she's stunning so yeah um, I'll pop some b-roll footage of her up this is her on her face of course you're not going to really be able to appreciate the face because I can't hold it diagonally up to you guys because you all fall but um, that's her properly set out and she is properly actually one of my new favourite figures I say this every single time um, but 
I love her, she's precious. And I will show you guys some B-roll. Um, thank you if you got this far. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, and I also want to say a massive thank you to everybody that's subscribed so far. I really love seeing how you guys obviously help support the channel. Um, also, um, I have again mentioned in my previous videos, I have started doing polls on what things to unbox next. So if you would like to obviously um, have a say, um, have like a specific figure that you want me to unbox first, um, head over to my Instagram because I do start obviously um, asking for your guys' opinion on there. And that pretty much rounds up this video. Um, if you haven't done already and you do enjoy anything like cosplay, figure collecting, figure unboxings um, of the anime variety of course, um, please feel free to subscribe. Um, I also always, always love hearing from you guys as well. So let me know what you think of our Dark Magician Girl today in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next ones. Take care of yourself and I will see you then. Bye.